This is Miss Francis, and I'm here at the Chapel Hill Public Library, and I'm so glad to bring you story time again today. And we're going to have some fun stories, and in our stories today, we are going to hear some rhyming words. Now, do you know what a rhyming word is? A rhyming word is a word that sounds alike, except for the letters are different, like cat and bat and sun and fun. And I'm just looking around the room and seeing if I see anything that might rhyme in here. Chair, bear, tick, pick. Let's see, let me take a look at my list here. Oh, what about bed? and red, and doll, and ball. The first two letters are different, but the rest of the word is spelled the same. So those are just some examples of some rhyming words, and you'll hear lots of rhyming words in our stories today. But before we get started, let's do our The More We Get Together, because I am so glad that we are together again. Even though we're not here in person, you can still see me and I can read to you. So let's sing The More We Get Together. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier will be. And this is the sign language sign for happy. Let's make a happy sound, because I hope everybody's happy today. All right, we're ready for some stories. And the first story I want to share with you is a story by one of my favorite authors, and it's Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. And they do a series of stories about dinosaurs. How many of you like dinosaurs? Well, I hope you'll like this story because it's called How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You? And I want you to listen for some rhyming words in this story. Oh my goodness, look at that big, big dinosaur. You woke in the morning in such a bad mood. And you sat at the table and you fussed at your food. Did you hear those rhyming words? Mood and food. But then you blew kisses and you waved from the door. I love you, I love you, my dinosaur. Out in the sandbox, you threw lots of sand. You ran from the slide after tapping my hand. But you suddenly turn with a smile I adore. Oh, I'll always love you, my dinosaur. You mope through your nap time and slap not a wink. And you flooded the house when you played in the sink. <gasps> Look at all that water. Oh, no. But you got out the mop and you cleaned up the floor. I love you so much, little dinosaur. Off in the car, you kept kicking my seat. 
Mommy doesn't look very happy. And when we got out, you were dragging your feet. Oh no, pick your feet up, dinosaur. But you held my hand tight when we walked in the store. I'll love you forever, my dinosaur. Dinner disaster, you made such a mess. Will you stay up past bedtime? The answer is yes. But when you smile sweetly and hold back your roar, when you kiss me and hug me, once, twice, even more. That's when you give love. I know it is true because that's how a dinosaur says, I love you. That's how a dinosaur says, I love you you. And there were lots of fun rhyming words in that story. Let's see if we can think up some other rhyming words. What about car and jar? Hmm, pig and wig. Fox and fox. Hen and pen. Those are all rhyming words. And there's so many other fun rhyming words. And you can make your own list of rhyming words and have fun with those. But let's see, let's read another story. How many of you like dogs? How many of you have puppy dogs at home? Well, there are so many fun dogs and there's so many different kinds of dogs. And this one is a fun one by Patricia Hubble and it's called Shaggy Dogs and Waggy Dogs. And Shaggy and Waggy Rhyme. Let's see, Shaggy Dogs and Waggy Dogs. What are they doing in this story? Shaggy dogs and waggy dogs and pencil thin and saggy dogs. Country dogs, <coughs> city dogs, itty bitty pretty dogs. That's a pretty little dog. Shy dogs, bold dogs won't do as they're told dogs. Dogs in packs and dogs alone, puppy dogs and dogs full grown, alone and grown. Dogs can find your missing ball and give you kisses if you fall. So what rhymes ball and ball? Take you for a long, long walk. Listen to you when you talk. What are the rhyming words? Walk and talk. Good job. Dogs can fetch your shoes and socks bury bones and dig up rocks. Socks and rocks. Dogs romp and race in doggy parks. They fill the air with yips and woof, woof, barks. Dogs gulp and gobble when they eat. They'll do a trick to get a treat. Eat and treat. 
Dogs like to curl up in your lap and take a cozy, snoozy, that's right, nap. Lap and nap. Good job, guys. Dogs comfort you when you feel sick. They're happy when you throw a stick. Sick and stick are rhyming words. With dirty paws and mud cake nose, they jump up on your nice clean clothes. Nose and clothes. Dogs ride in trucks. They ride in cars. Some dogs are famous TV stars. That's right, cars and stars. A team of dogs can pull a sled. Dogs warm your feet when you're in bed. Sled and bed are our rhyming words. Of all the things a dog can do, its favorite thing is having you do and you shaggy dogs and waggy dogs there were so many rhyming words in that story oh my goodness and those dogs were having so much fun and they look like they are such happy dogs. Are you happy today? I'm pretty happy. Let's do a little bit of, if you're happy and you know it, we might even hear some rhyming words. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Wiggle your fingers. Stomp your feet. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Good job, everybody. Good job. I think I heard some rhyming words in that song. And you can make up your own song and put some rhyming words in it. Now let's see, we have time for another story. This one has lots of fun rhyming words. And if you like fish, you'll like this story. And this is a special kind of book. And you'll see what I mean once we get to the end. It's called Fish Swish. 
flash, dash, a counting round and round book. What do you mean by a round and round book? Well, just hold on, you'll see. Follow the leader and count with me the fish that live beneath the sea. I heard those rhyming words, did you? Me and see. <gasps> One fish, two fish, <gasps> three fish, four, oh my goodness, five fish, six fish, Seven fish more. Eight fish. Hmm. Nine fish. Here comes ten. Uh oh, what's going to happen? Follow the leader. And do it again. So we turn our book. Oh my goodness, I think we're gonna have to count backwards. Are you ready? Ten fish, nine fish, eight fish go splash. Seven fish, six fish, five fish, dash, splash, and dash, four fish, three fish. to do. And if you wanted to read it again, you turn your book around and you start with one fish again. So this was fish, swish, splash, dash. Even the title words rhyme. I like this story. I like fish. Do you like fish? I hope that you do. All right, I think we might have time for one more story, and it's called oh, A Bear Set on My Porch Today. Have you ever gone outside and saw a bear sitting on your porch? I haven't either, but let's see what's going to happen in this story and if there are some rhyming words. My goodness, look at that bear. A bear sat on my porch today and wanted to stay and wanted to stay. A bear sat on my porch today and he wouldn't go away. What should I do? Boo! Shoo! Okay, okay, you can stay, but don't scare my mommy. And that, bow, that bear went, I won't go. Well, a squirrel sat on my porch today his fur all gray, shaggy and gray. <gasps> what should I do? What should I do? What about a nut and a seed? 
is what I need, said the squirrel. Okay, okay, you can stay. Only get away from the feeders. A squirrel sat on my porch today, and that squirrel would not go away. Ooh, a skunk sat on my porch today, and he started to spray, and he started to spray. Pshh. Just some perfume to clean the room, said the, the, um, the skunk. Okay, okay, you can stay, though you definitely can't come into the house. A skunk sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. Well, a possum sat on my porch today and started to play and started to play. A possum sat on my porch today. <gasps> what should I do? Oh, I know, play dead. Play dead or sing instead. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay, okay, you can stay. Just don't squeak too loudly. And guess what? That possum brought her family eight in all. A passel of possums. Oh, what a sprawl. Oh no, a raccoon sat on my porch today and wanted to play and wanted to play. What should I do? Well, I'm glad you asked, said the raccoon. Why don't you just grab a mask? Okay, okay, you can stay. Just don't wake the babies. Well, a raccoon sat on my porch today. He just wouldn't go away. Oh no, a moose sat on my porch today and the porch began to shift and sway. What should I do, what should I do? It may seem absurd, but you're my new herd. <gasps> what? Okay, okay, you can stay. But one meal a day is all you get. A moose sat on my porch today. And that moose just wouldn't go away. Oh, a jay sat on my porch today, a bright blue jay, a loud mouth jay. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? And that little jay went squawk, squawk, squawk. And I said, no rough talking. A jay sat on my porch today, and that jay just would not go away. Wait, look at this. Oh no, crash, smash, crash, smash. Oh, help, help, help. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. And the bear grabbed a broom and the squirrel got a pail, and the skunk carted over a hammer and a nail, and the possum brought wood from the barn and the shed. So I made lunch for my hard-working bunch, except, of course, that loudmouth Jay, cause he'd already blown away. Goodbye, Mr. Jay. We're awfully sorry you did not stay. Well, the raccoon splashed paint, green and red, and the moose gave the floorboards a very good shine, and then it was time for us 
to die. I'm sorry to see him go. He left an awful mess. Bye. And here they are. All of the animals that decided to stay. And they all got busy. And guess what? I think they built a new porch. And I made a sign that said, everybody welcome. So I just didn't know what to do when all those animals started showing up. But we figured it all out because a bear sat on my porch today. So when you go outside, huh, look and see if there's a bear or some other animal sitting on your porch that decided to stay. I hope you don't have a bear out there. If you do, just be aware. And that's all the time we have for stories today. Thank you so much for listening to my stories and I hope you enjoyed those rhyming words. And just remember, you can make your own list and write your story about words that rhyme. And I think you'll have lots and lots of fun. And until I see you again, this is Miss Francis at the Chapel Hill Library saying bye. I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to read lots and lots and lots of books. Goodbye.